A Queensland bottle tree is the toughest, I would believe, of all the transplanting trees, the trees that will transplant. They're vigorous, they're a member of the succulent family, you know, so you can actually cut, break a branch off and plant it in the ground and it, and it will grow. We've got those six of these nice large ones and then there's 20, about 24 I think of the smaller ones. So. so it's going to be an amazing instant forest, so I'm very, very excited. It's like unwrapping a Christmas present, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, it's a big undertaking, three semi-trailers, you know, they, they fill the semi-trailers, there's a lot of tree on there. It's just a matter of looking after them the right way, I mean, transplanting is pre and post care, that's the most important side of things, um, and shifting them well is the other one, you know, so we don't break branches, we get a good root ball, and then we lock them in the ground properly, we fertilise and mulch them, and then the aftercare is just as important as the initial work. Um, the guys that undo it all, undo all the strapping and so on. Um, we'll lift them onto the ground on the other side here, get him a nice level platform, get the trucks out of here so they can go do another job. And um, yeah, give the trees a bit of a hug. <laughs> we've been planning this for two years. I've been speaking with Adam for two years about this. We've, uh, we've done it the right way to say, well, once the cold snap's gone, we'll bring the trees in. The root promotion can take then over the next year in the heat and before the next coal comes hopefully the, the roots have taken, the tree is feeding a little bit better after the relocation and uh, hopefully they, they're in good stead then for the first frost. We've had a big operation went on uh, yesterday where we loaded the trees from the township of Ackland. We had frana cranes, you know, five or six men and uh, semi-trailers and, and uh, excavators. So that was a big day, loading them carefully and wrapping them and making sure they arrive, you know, in one piece. So that all went very, very well. No, I'm just saying how they travelled and so on, seeing if there's any broken branches and so on, helping the guys undo the, the latches. But they've travelled really, really well. I couldn't be happier. Ackland's a small township just outside Toowoomba, probably uh, 30 kilometres west of Toowoomba. Um, it, it was a mining community originally, now, and then the farming's taken over and the mine died down. And now they've realised the worth of the coal in, in, in Australia, now, now the mine's picked up again. So uh, a very uh, futuristic mining company realised and they've bought all the farms, uh, every townhouse. So basically we have a ghost town now, but it's you know, very fortunate for the Arboretum to be able to acquire these trees and very fortunate for me to be able to supply them. It's just a good project. I was expecting him to come down and look a bit smaller, but I'm really, really happy. He's looking amazing. It's going to be a nice instant effect. It's very similar um, climate here to where they've come from. The soil's very similar. Um, you'd think being from up Queensland, it's quite a lot warmer up there. But um, it's, it's about an hour past Toowoomba there, and it's, they get a lot of cold frosts. Very similar sort of soils. He's <laughs> giving them a pretty big hug. <laughs> I'd be coming from the wood because you cut into that, it just, you know, it just sinks right into it. And... The trees are roughly aging between 20 and 30 years old. Uh, they're probably weighing in around three tonne each. Um, and, the, you know, they've got their own individual characters. They're beautiful specimens. Yeah, going really well. Um, about to do the lift carefully, uh, place them on the ground. So the trees look great, they've travelled well. So we've just got to do our bit carefully now. And steady as she goes, we say.
Pity the wind's picked up a bit, but anyway. That's all right. Just put the tap on the ground. Hurry down. All the clock. Yeah, look, doesn't matter which way they go. I've been uh, an arborist for around 10 years, uh, love working with trees, we climb trees, prune trees, uh, look after tree health, we do root pruning and uh, sort of an overall arbor culture uh, sort of a business. This is my first visit, uh, the Arboretum's a beautiful thing, we've just walked around the grounds and had a look at all the planting and the, and the scheme and the, the, the views are spectacular. Um, it's just exciting to be involved, it's a great project and um, you know, we'll plant them carefully and, and you know, uh, we'll, we'll work with Adam and make sure that they uh, do well from now onwards. It's like cold. Oh, we're just, uh, just saying how excited we are about the soil. The quality of the soil is fantastic, and the, the season that we've just had with the amount of rain and so on, the soil is nice and moist. Um, it's a beautiful day, a bit overcast. Big day to get all three, six trees in. I'm going to put three in here, another three up there. The guys have just gone back with the crane to select which tree goes in first. Um, we'll do a little bit of stuff to the soil, put some of the black magic into it. <laughs> Yep, steady she goes. And... I'm gonna watch the crane for stability and just watch the tree for a sway and Make sure no branches get broken, that's what we're doing today. This is the first one? First one. Uh, standing up really straight so it should plant really nicely. We'll just lock it in carefully and uh, get the heights right, that should be a beautiful thing. So yeah, they're all very individual and very special. And uh, you know, we only come across one or two trees like this every year. If we can acquire one or two a year, we're doing very well. They're our favourite uh, tree. They've got a lot of character and uh, we sort of try to specialise in that. Toowoomba's the gateway to the Golden West, which is, uh, you know, we're sort of, we're on the way to out west where all the trees grow naturally. So we're in a position where we get a lot of trees offered to us. You know, the people have planted the seeds from the bush trees in the towns around that area and we get option on those. So we, uh, yeah, we specialise in our bottle trees. Uh, we take a lot of care with them and uh, we, we enjoy what we do. Actually a cabinet maker. Yeah, cabinet maker by trade. Yep. Um, yeah, spent a lot, lot of years in the shed, cramped away. Found this job and uh, yeah, lots of fresh air. Good feelings when you uh, save a tree and put it in the ground. Once you finish the job, the, the feeling that you have of saving a tree, you know, otherwise it's going to get bulldozer over or cut up and chucked in the mulch pot. It's, uh, yeah, not a, not a very nice feeling at all. <laughs> I'd rather save the trees and, uh, yeah.
Oh, that's all right. That pressure, that stretch, all good. I'm not breaking out. Take that off and then push that in separate and screw it in. Undo it and screw it in. Undo the fit and screw it They're very endangered due to the fact I've sat out in uh, out near Roma in some of the little pubs, you know, uh, backdrops of Roma. Uh, Wallen Bill is the name of the place, and uh, sat there at the bar talking about bull trees. And an old farmer said, "Well, they're they're endangered. What happens is now that we've got so many cattle, you know, pastures and cattle all around the areas where there never was the bottle trees, the young ones that keep coming up, the the cattle will pull it out of the ground, lay it down. They won't touch the canopy. They'll eat the taproot off the bottom." So you'll just see these little bits of bottle tree laying around everywhere with the taproot eaten off. We're planting more in forests, we're planting more for sale, but that, that will never catch up with what nature has been doing. So it's, it's, it's gonna be a rare tree, but hopefully it's still gonna be around for thousands of years. You know.